Cosmeric Leaf and Fuse in Place. From Allomancy to Surge Binding, there's a lot to look out for. We're your hosts and escorts to the realms. I'm Griff. And I'm Alex. And, and this, this is, is the Silverlight Silver Guide, Guide to the Cosmere. Oh, before we do that, no, did I we want to discuss? I already pressed oh, Okay, never mind. Okay, what did, cool. What did cool, you cool. want to discuss? I was going to discuss whether or not we wanted to decide on a date for Stormlight memes, but we can talk about that afterwards. We can. And with that, welcome back, listeners, bookworms. We are happy to announce that our Rhythm of War review coming soon will be with the one and only Stormlight memes. She was Indeed. With, she was with us on our Words of Radiance review. Uh, so when we do our Stormlight 5 theory crafting episode, we will have cos- uh, generic entertainment and Stormlight memes. Indeed, that'll be fun. It will be fun. Look for that near the end of March, probably. Not the, not the Stormlight 5, the uh, Rhythm of War review. Rhythm of yes. War review, probably near the end of March, but as I'm saying it... Who knows? Who but who? Who really knows? Nobody. Who but the star, the 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 Almighty, the Storm Lord. Yes. Storm Daddy. Storm Daddy. Yes. <laughs> I still am looking forward to him becoming a shard blade in the duel. I I still think that's going to happen. Save it for the theory crafting, Griff. I know, I know. I'll be saving for the Stormlight Five theory crafting. And for any of anybody listening, um, I guess I'm gonna have to go bleep that out. That's a yeah. I suppose you will. That's sorry. A that's yeah. all right. All right. So we have some. Anyway. So so should you buy the Words of Radiance leather bound book? Should you back the backer kit? Well, we're gonna get to that after these brief words from Sanderson News. So, Griff, do you know what's in the Sanderson News today? I have no idea what's in the Sanderson News today. Fantastic. So we have a few things. The first is that our response to purchasing hotels at Dragonsteel was so overwhelming that they have partnered with more hotels to get room blocks. So while, while supplies last... Uh, and they may have even opened up more rooms on the room blocks uh, that already existed. So while supplies last, go check it out. Um, it's a wide variety of hotels all around the, the center. But don't wait on it, it, from my understanding. The second thing is, I don't know if you are aware of the 631 thing going on. Are you aware of it? I am not aware of it. What's the 631 thing? Okay, so Sanderson is a... So Sanderson's YouTube channel has 629 videos as of this recording, okay? Okay. It is speculated that his 631st is going to be the live stream backer kit launch party okay what has been happening though is that in the weekly update videos it started i'm not sure if it started a month ago i wasn't paying attention to the background but behind sanderson in all of the weekly videos for for a little bit now there have been clocks that are set to 631 and there have been they have ordered the books they have positioned the books behind him uh, in the order of 631 uh, on the shelves uh, in various times. And so this last week, it was very obvious. They had like six or seven clocks behind him, uh, all stating 631. Uh, so there has been speculation as to what that means. The most obvious is that it just means the backer kit launch is going to be video 631. Uh, but... You know, take your pick. Are they going to announce the Mistborn movie with his 631 video first video? Are they going to announce another secret project uh, with his 631st video? 
I am I am I'm using Occam's razor here. It is just building hype for the right. launch. Uh, I will say this. I kind of hope that it's something other than the backer kit, because while the backer kit for the leather bound is impressive, don't get me wrong. Sure. It is nothing like the event of Year of Sanderson was. I agree. I do. And I do want to state. And what we're going to talk about is the plushes. And I think the plushes might be hype enough. I th- fair, fair. Go ahead. So go ahead. Oh, I was just saying that, like, yeah, that is fair. Um, I just feel like, like, Year of Sanderson was huge. And don't get me wrong. As I said, the, the Leatherbound Words of Radiance thing is cool. And I may be biased because I'm not planning on getting the Leatherbound. That sure. is a little bit out of my price range and not something that I'm interested in backing. So that might also be influencing my my opinion on this. But I do feel like this is not quite the same occasion as the Year of Sanderson was. Yeah, I agree. So I I just I don't think the 631 is going to be anything more than it's the live stream. It's got a lot of cool stuff going on. And right. It's just the backer kit. So I'm not getting my hopes up. But that's fair. For those of you who get your Sanderson news through this podcast and probably this podcast only, which is probably few of you. They have, I mean, it was at least one person. It was at least one person. Shout out to I believe your name was Tim. Uh, yes, that's your full name now. You are a honorary Threnodite bookworm, and your name is <laughs> I believe your name is Tim. I we will need to get a, pre- a shirt printed up for him. Yes. So if if you haven't been following Sanderson's YouTube channel, Dan Wells and I believe we mentioned this in the last episode. Dan Wells wrote little blurbs about the Radiant Orders. And yes, as a as a as an in world character, and all ten of those are out. And what makes the video? Where can you see those? YouTube, on Sanderson. Okay, channel. so they are they are exclusively on YouTube. There is no website where they were posted. They were posted on Backerkit for followers of the Backerkit early, but they are also now on YouTube. Okay, I am unsure if they are anywhere else. I Fair honestly enough. don't care. I would be kind of in, I'm I'm interested in going and checking out what he says about the else callers. So yes. because you, you should be. Yeah. The thing that makes it more magical, Griff, is that yes. the only places that you can see the designs of the plushes, from what I understand, is at the end of each of the orders YouTube videos, they have the basic two D models of the plushes oh for each of the radiant right. orders so we saw so, as i said go ahead i'm oh, sorry go on no no no. I, I didn't mean to interrupt oh uh we saw sill at dragon steel 2023 we saw the design <laughs> right and i watched the bondsmith one all the way through so i do know that there is a storm father plush uh no word on the other two bondsmith ones i Imagine that the uh, uh, I did see no they they have all of them uh because so I the think, ink spread is 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 one yes so yes they have each radiant order and then for the bondsmith they have the storm father and right they did make a YouTube short that had all of them or somebody did anyways I remember seeing all of them and I was like hey those look like a lot like the stickers I made uh because oh, neat. they are. The cognitive realm versions, other than the storm. Ah, okay. They are the walking, talking spren in the cognitive realm. Right, right. I will be interested in, as I said, I won't be backing the backer kit. Uh, However, I am hoping that they will sell the plushes individual because I would like to get an ink spren and um, potentially also a Stormfather one just because I like the Stormfather as a character. Absolutely. So I think that wraps up Sanderson News and we can just springboard into the backer kit. Indeed. So... You so they are not running this through Kickstarter. They are running it through Backerkit, which was the platform that they would go from Kickstarter uh, to 
to then send out everything. So they were just like, hey, backer kit, can you do this? Um, the, the, the first thing that I think people should know so that it's not lost. Sorry, two things. First, Sanderson said in his last weekly video update, if you cannot afford it, don't. He does not want you to go broke getting an expensive book. Right. To pair with that, though, people during the Secret Projects and the last Leather Bound, and of course for all time, were wanting the option to split up payments. That is possible now because they're doing oh, nice. backer kit. You can do a okay. four, you can do a four month installment. However, however, big caveat. If you miss the payments or for whatever reason you cannot finish the payments, they cannot Sanderson cannot guarantee the money that you sent can be returned. That's fair. So I think that's that's a good but that is a good very good thing to know. I yes. imagine I imagine it can be, right? You submit a ticket, you say, hey, but do not bank on that. Assume right. the money cannot be returned. So if you cannot afford it, do not do it. If you can't afford it over the four month payment, don't do it. These things will be available in the future. We've seen since the first leather bound backer or Kickstarter that they are available at least several times a year. All right. Yes. They are available at Dragon Steel. They even have occasionally refills of signed ones. So don't go broke trying to get a fancy book. That said, I am glad that they're doing the multiple payments now because, yes, one of the things that was a little bit rough about the year of Sanderson was trying to afford the rather hefty price for the year of Sanderson in a single month span. Yes, I agree. So with that out of the way, uh, it is unfortunate and I'm saying it's unfortunate uh, lightly. They because it's not Kickstarter, they actually they haven't released what the tiers are gonna be. Right. So so what we're gonna do for you, listener, is when this Kickstarter goes live, I am going to record uh extra bits regarding the tiers of which you can purchase the books and and plushes and add it to this episode, and I will do that by Wednesday night, uh, Central Time. So the backer kit goes live on Tuesday at 11 a.m. Central, so 10, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, uh, and we have, people, we have people in the comments theorizing about what is going to be the cost uh, so previously, leather-bound books were two hundred dollars. However, with inflation and supply chain management issues, they are two fifty. So expect that that leather-bound book is going to be two fifty, which is definitely a hefty price. But it is a good quality product as well. So it is. Uh, you should listener beware if you have not seen. Um, if you handle the leather bounds too much, sometimes the gilding and the lettering on the leather can fade. So yes, they are very much for show and for careful reading. Yes, they are not meant to be a well-loved copy. I agree. So uh, somebody somebody named Hand Handle in the Dark is is projecting that the all in tier will likely be 550 or 600 plus and that is for the book plus all of the plushes right I, which yeah i am more power to those yeah sorry sorry go no, on no, 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 you go on oh i was just gonna say more power to those who want that uh, amount and I'm sure that there will be those out there who do spring for that um, I am not that devoted to all of the radiant orders so I agree. it could be I am curious go ahead. how they're going to, I'm going I am curious how they're going to do the high spren for the the storm uh, 
Skybreakers. Well, for a uh, an attempt to describe it through audio, it is right. it is a humanoid, and it is just stars and galaxy design. Oh, neat. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yep. And so, uh, with the six six hundred plus dollar uh, price tag, perhaps everything will be six hundred and thirty one. Ah, Ooh. that would be rather clever, honestly. Um, yeah, it would also be dumb. So, also a little bit because I, I think yeah. I think they definitely have to include some more in there to justify that price tag. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's let me go to Sanders Dragon Steel uh, real quick and see what the Doom Slug pl- plushes cost, and we can we can guess that they are going to be around that price. So that's fair. I really think, from what we've seen time and time again, Dragon Steel really has a commitment to quality items. Unfortunately, that does come with a cost. And yes, yeah. So the Doom Slug Sidoverse plushes online are thirty five dollars, and I expect. The Spren plushes will slight will likely be less stuffing but more complicated to make. So they are probably gonna sit between that thirty and forty dollar range. And for the backer kit, I imagine if you go all in with the plushes, uh you're probably looking at three hundred dollars minimum. Probably, because they will give you a little bit of a discount probably for backing it. Yes. But it is still going to be expensive. Yes. It is going to be at least three hundred dollars. I agree. If not a little bit more. Yes. So the so some things that should be taken into consideration is that the last swag they offered, which I am unsure of what it was, somebody in the comments was saying last time you were able to either get one, like if you if you got the book, you were able to choose one radiant order. Um, which I think was the challenge coin, maybe. Um, so you were able okay. to get one Radiant Order, or you were able to get all 10. I am not suggesting that they're going to do that this time, but the pr- the uh, precedent is there that because right. they are going to have limited supply, and I... so. Taking a step back in the timeline, the way the reason they're doing backer kit is because they already have the books, right? We already talked about this with our Dragon Steel. They announced right. Dragon Steel that they already had all fifty thousand something books uh, in their warehouse ready to go. I they did not mention the plushes though, so there could be that they don't have fifty thousand of each plush. Uh, no, I'm not that everybody would want all 10, but... Which makes sense, yeah, because I was about to say, they may actually be doing that based on what orders they get, because I know they're going to want to sell some of them in the store, but the demand for the amount of plushies is going to be lower than the demand for the books, because many people, even if they order the plushies, are not going to want all 10. Right. I agree. So, uh, that is... (sighs) Pretty much all of that, I I would expect, like the challenge coins, that at Dragon's at Dragon Steel this year, and maybe even sometime during the year, uh, once all of the orders are out, that they will put the plushes online to purchase. Probably, uh, hopefully, uh, that would be a pretty dumb move if they didn't. So, I also have a feeling that they may sell them at the Dragon Steel store at the con this year because Absolutely. considering that Roshar 5 is the book we are getting yeah. along with the con, it would be very silly to not sell the plushes to as many people as they can Absolutely. possibly get them to. So. Absolutely. So, don't feel pressured to spend more money than you have. It is right. likely that all of these things will be available in the future, if not the immediate future, because Dragon Steel is on top of it. And yes, honestly, there yeah. will be chances to get specifically what you want without having to shell out the price for the base 
book backer kits. Yeah. And because the book is very nice, but it is not nice enough to be going broke over, like you said. So Absolutely. Absolutely. Do not panic. Do not fall into the fear of missing out. There will be other opportunities. Yes. All right. That uh, that really wraps up what there is on Backer Kit, which is not very much. Uh, not a whole lot, no. But we will have more on Wednesday when the Backer Kit actually drops. Yeah. So I'm thinking what I'll actually do is I'll go ahead and record an episode um so that it sends out a new push notification for you listeners uh, so that your you can listen on the way home I'll describe all the tiers um, and it'll be it'll be fun that sounds good and ideally um, and honestly if anything more goes on perhaps we can record an episode together and if there's any more news to report we can go over it sure yeah. I'm not saying there is. I'm I'm on your side. I think it probably is just the backer kit for the leather bound. But in case something else occurs, right, we can be on top of it for sure. Um, I forgot. Uh, for those listening that want to go to Dragon Steel, we mentioned the hotels. Uh, if you are interested in being a panelist, which from what I am assuming here, it is not the open programming. It may be replacing the open programming. Uh, it is an opportunity to for Dragonsteel to interview you to be on panels for Dragonsteel 2024. If you want to do that, you have experience or you have the drive and you want to get up in front of people and talk about the Cosmere or potentially whatever they select, uh, go to the Tabletop Events Dragonsteel 2024 website and there is a link to a Google form that you can fill out. Uh, it is extensive. They state that not everybody will get selected. If you are selected, there will be a pre-screen interview. Uh, so there's a lot of hoops to jump through. I went ahead and filled it out because I think it would be great to contribute more. Um, I agree. Yeah. The vendor uh, applications are open. Uh, I expect that they will be more select about who gets to go this year, and it will probably still be May or June before they let us know who. Uh, Dragon Steel tickets come out May 17th, I think. Dang, now I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up real quick. May 7th. Registration opens May 7th. So uh, get your clickers ready for that day. Uh, Two months ahead. Wow, it's crazy how time flies. So it is. That, and honestly, there's volunteer uh, applications are I, open too. Yeah, and I think this this year is definitely going to be big. I think one of the reasons that they're doing the the reason they are doing things the way they are doing them is because I believe that they suspect, much like I do, that this convention is going to be one of their biggest since it is. It Dragon will, yeah. Dragon Steel Con has now been well established, and cause and Stormlight Book Five is going to draw a bigger crowd than the last Skyward book did. No offense to the Skyward series; it just is not as popular. Absolutely, yeah. It looks like they are already getting confirmation from the invitee exhibitors. Uh, you can see who has already signed up to be on there. Um, Jancy Patterson, Piper Drake, so on. A lot of the, a lot of the standard. Um, these are our friends. Please come to our thing. Uh, and so, right. So that will likely continue filling out until sometime in May, and then they'll they'll accept applications from others that applied. Three days. Three days. Oh, uh, on top of yeah, that. Yeah, three full days. That's exciting. You don't Not have to lie. do as a vendor. They are. Uh, implementing a indie alley kind of thing going on and you can pay for a single day uh, you can pay for a table for a single day at a much lower cost oh neat oh yeah. that's cool okay yeah uh does good really, for them that's... yeah you can you can you can even do all three days and it comes in less expensive than the standard table for three days uh, right but right you, but it's a smaller table it's only one seat so on and so forth so if you just want to go for one day, I would pick uh, the Friday or Saturday, the Thursday. I It's going to be busy. Um, 
people are going to be uh, really going for that Dragon Steel store. Yes. And then the first day is probably going to be the busiest, especially for the store and everything. So yeah. if you want something that's a little bit lower key but still busy, you're probably going to want to shoot for that second day, which is going to be the Friday. Yeah. Saturday, I have a feeling things are going to be winding down. So just depends on what people are looking for with activity wise. Right. Yeah. Also, like I know that actually, I don't know if the rules uh, under the rules, if you get a table, do you always have to have it manned? No. Okay. So it also might depend on what events you want to go see if you get a table and Absolutely. you still want to dip out to yes. see a pan or a, a, one of the panels or whatever. Absolutely. Uh, vendors do get early access to the Dragon Steel store on the second day. So, oh, neat. Yeah, from seven to eight. So, that cool. is something to consider. Indeed. And, although they did increase the price of the vendor badges for the extra badges. So, uh, that is all extra bits. Um, I yes. will make sure to get a, an update for those of you who want to listen on the on the drive home, uh, maybe on Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, and we'll 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 talk. Uh, we'll we'll get my voice in your in your delicate little ears bookworms and it'll be a great week uh indeed indeed it will yeah so i think that's it sounds good all right well uh if anything let me know if anything additional occurs on wednesday i will probably yep. be trying to keep my ear to the ground as well but sure. with my job that's not always possible so sure sure uh, so if we have anything more to talk about, we'll plan something for Wednesday. If not, uh, we do have our Rhythm of War review coming up. Absolutely. And uh, until next time, don't panic, world hoppers. Life before death, strength before weakness, and not spending too much money that you don't have before destination. Wise words. The music you hear is Part 3, The Spirit, from Zavadilla's The Music of Elantris, produced by B-Roll Records, available now on Apple Music, Spotify, and most music providers. If you like what you hear, and you want others to hear it as well, please leave a rate and review. It really helps us get more listeners.